Today in Crypto Cryptocurrency exchange Bitstamp has confirmed that it will be listing the meme coin Shiba Inu. The exchange had first the listing of SHIB that would take place on December 9 but this had come to a halt after Bitstamp said they were having technical difficulties with listing the digital asset. The listing of the meme coin had then been pushed back indefinitely following the issues. The integration of Shiba Inu into the Bitstamp platform had been stalled when the exchange ran into technical problems getting the meme coin on board. This had caused it to halt the listing of the token on the platform. The listing which had been much anticipated by the community had come to an indefinite hold with these issues which the exchange has been trying to fix. Related reading High praise for Shiba Inu as Flexa begins accepting SHIB payments Bitstamp had made this known to the community on December 9 when the coin was supposed to go live that they had run into a problem with getting the cryptocurrency on their platform. In a tweet, the crypto exchange pointed to technical problems which would cause it to take a longer time to list the meme coin. The listing on Bitstamp would have put the meme coin on the largest crypto exchange in the whole of Europe. At this point, Shiba Inu had already made the rounds across all of the top 10 cryptocurrency exchanges and was moving further down the list. Bitstamp once again took to Twitter to assure the Shiba Inu community that it still planned to list the digital asset. It is now a week after the first scheduled listing date and SHIB is still yet to debut on the platform. So, Bitstamp has addressed the community assuring them that they still planned to go ahead with the listing of Shiba Inu and that this was only temporary. Related reading Dogecoin blockchain marks its first ever NFT minting however, Shiba Inu will no longer be coming to Europe's largest crypto exchange in 2021. The exchange explained in the tweet that while they were still going to list the altcoin, it would not be happening in 2022. The meme coin has already recorded an accelerated rate of adoption in 2021 so waiting for 2022 to list on Bitstamp does not take anything from the project. It is rightfully the breakout star of 2021 and has left more than a few crypto millionaires in its wake. At the height of the Bitcoin rally end-of-year predictions had flown around with abandon. Most had placed the price of the digital asset at $100,000 before 2021 ran out. With the movement of the asset at that point, one could easily look at those predictions and see how it could be a possibility. However, the crypto market has proved again that there is really no telling what might happen with it. Bitcoin had ridden the wave up to $69,000 but that would prove to be the top of that rally as a crash sent the price back towards $40,000 not too long after. Now, the price of Bitcoin is struggling to regain its footing above $50,000. Related reading, investors take refuge in Bitcoin as inflation rises. Craig Erlam, a market analyst at Hoanda has given thoughts on Bitcoin in a recent client note. The analyst noted that although many had been hoping for the price of Bitcoin to finish the year above $100,000, market momentum had dashed those hopes and now a finish above $50,000 for the year is what is being hoped for. Another analyst at Hoanda, Edward Moya, notes that the digital asset had taken a beating alongside big techs which had sent its price towards its current levels. Nevertheless, the analyst added that despite this, the market continues to face a medium to long-term bullish outlook. The cryptocurrency space is seeing a lot of repositioning and that is leading to some unwanted selling pressure, but the medium to long-term outlook remains strong, said Moya. Analyst Craig Erlam notes that Bitcoin has had another chaotic week of trading. This has been the case since the first market crash rocked the market at the beginning of December, sending the market straight into the red. However, Bitcoin has managed to pick up support at $47,000, which the analyst said means that the digital asset is unlikely to give up this price. Related reading, WikiLeaks and Bitcoin, a crypto love story. On the other hand, crypto bulls are also trying to pull Bitcoin out of the current trend. The holidays have already begun, signaling the end of the year and the bulls would prefer to end what has been a stellar year on a positive note. Many were hoping for six figures by year-end, now they may be crossing their fingers and hoping for half that, said Erlam. Finishing at $50,000 is not necessarily a bad finishing point for Bitcoin. Compared to the beginning of the year, it would mark an at least $20,000 higher close. Following the announcement that Facebook's parent company would be rebranding in a shift towards the metaverse, many projects have started similar initiatives entering the virtual space, 
from buying property to testing the limits of what this universe has to offer. The downtown Santa Monica district west of Los Angeles was one of the first real-world areas to allow users to have access to the metaverse through the Flick Play app, branded as a metaverse tool. Walking around the district seems to be more of a limited augmented reality experience rather than a virtual one, with people collecting digital tokens in the style of Pokemon Go. Continue reading on Cointelegraph. On 15 December 2021, one of Spring's Ballyhooed Xbox shooters, Stalker 2, announced their plans to incorporate the game into NFTs. This strategic move comes as an offshoot of similar gaming companies which have threaded the same path, namely Ubisoft Games and Peter Molyneux's Fever Dreams. It is noteworthy to mention that Stalker 2, which is the next entry in a long derelict series of horror shooters, has been around for a while. At first, it was announced in the year 2010 but was cancelled twice. Afterward, it featured again in 2018, and this time, it became stable. Consequently, GSC, Stalker 2 game developer, had gone on to hint and display a lengthy versions of the game in magnificent trailers this year. Read also, Wolf Game Project launches Wizards and Dragons game with improved benefits as part of an attempt to morph into the metaverse and blockchain networks. GSC will auction off the chance to photogrammetrically scan a player's face into a non-player's character in what would be considered the first ever metamon. Similarly, Stalker 2 will hop into the NFT trend as said to be announced in February. It suffices to note that the intention is not devoid of logicality or antecedents. The prior niggling concern as to the delicate nature of NFTs is now well and truly jettisoned. As seen recently, video game makers are looking towards adopting blockchain models into gaming. Stalker 2 NFT will work on the market marketplace. However, the possible environmental impact does not go without mentioning. According to the European Environment Agency, cryptocurrencies consume massive energy. Also, an article published in March 2021 revealed that Bitcoin mining could consume energy equal to all the world's data centers combined. GSC's stance on this remains largely unknown, although they have stressed the fact that entry into this venture will not imply an undue advantage to other players. Continue reading on BTC Peers. There has been an increase in the rate at which NFT creators are making money from the innovative products they release and even for NFT ideas that are yet to be fully launched. An example of the latter is Legacy, a new NFT game created by Peter Molyneux. Molyneux is a fable creator known for creating Curiosity. Curiosity is a game involving various players clicking on a huge cube multiple times to discover what is inside the cube. Although, however, the legacy game is yet to be released. This new project of his entails using blockchain technology that allows players to build digital business empires. Once they buy their plot of land to start, players can start their own so-called blockchain business association. Hence, the plot of land sold for $900,000 represents one out of various plots of land in this game created by Peter Molyneux. According to reports, even though the plots of land are still in the pre-sale stage, it has attracted the sum of $56 million, which is in the form of NFT assets. Read also, NFT collector spends $450,000 to be Snoop Dogg's virtual neighbor. The legacy game has received many reactions since Molyneux announced it. According to Gala Games, legacy is a creative entrepreneur's dream come true, an opportunity for players to build their very own business designing their very own products from a huge array of possibilities as they create a business empire the likes of which the world has never seen. This statement by Gala Games shows that the legacy game comes with so many benefits. The first is that it allows players to act as entrepreneurs and fulfill their dreams of successfully building a business. Secondly, the legacy game presents players the chance to turn their imaginations to viable products and also you can get to trade and earn money from your gameplay. Continue reading on BTC Peers. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.